So I think one of the challenges in this model is, is really working through how much paper helps the product, right? And balancing, obviously, the need and, and the need to, for the contractor to provide evidence of their assertion, right? And so, so that's, really, um, that's really the struggle and, and the negotiation that, you, that we, we have always had as we're working through with energy partners. So I, I think that the most important thing is really, are, we, are you keeping the number of requirements to a minimum, right? Um, because the requirements themselves will drive the ver verification process itself. And then, and then it's really critical to begin that negotiation process up front about what level of verification information and data is really needed to be handed over an archive versus what amount can be developed through um, insight, what we call insight, by, by the engineers being there at test and observing, you know, by, um, and, and so you're always balancing um, negotiating the minimum amount of paper because there still has to be a record of the work that's done and key aspects of the, of the analysis and the assertion of the work that's done to close out the paperwork. But, but you want to negotiate that as much as possible with the partner up front so that they can put that into their workflow and make sure that they're understanding the amount of work it's going to take and then be able to time that work in a way that, that then they're able to really kind of control their destiny and plan it out and be able to um, lay it in and staff for it um, along the way. And so one of the, the, what we did when we were working the COTS demonstrations, um, you know, two years before they were going to fly, we really worked our verification planning process and, our, and, and worked with the teams. In fact, right after we worked our requirements negotiations with them, the next thing we started doing was working our verification planning with them because um, we understood and they understood that really the meat of the work was going to be driven by what's negotiated from a verification planning perspective. And so you need to get that kind of nailed down so then they know what the target is and, and what they're going to need to be able to, and, and also it gives them an opportunity to find out when's the right time for them to be able to supply the information that you need, right? In some cases, it's pretty easy if you're running a test just to go at that point, print out that sheet and go, oh, I know I'm going to have to give this to them later on, right? But if you have to you know, at the very end, if you negotiate, go back and go back through the archival and go look at all this, you know, then it's very, very more time consuming to be able to show that verification information. Also, if you've negotiated, I'm going to need this amount of tests and, um, and the engineers can go out and see the test and conduct it, there may be a little bit less amount of data that then the, the providers have to show from a final report perspective for for the subject matter expert to sign off on the verification closure notices at the end. So what's really key is to always um, try to minimize that requirement set, be as clear as possible about what's going to be required at the end so that the industry partner can really time when is going to be the best time to collect the data and be able to do it in the easiest manner possible.